Hi everyone, so today I wanted to do kind of the first episode of my Nat Chats series. I feel like I'll either do it here on YouTube or on my podcast depending on the type of content, but I kind of wanted to introduce it here on my YouTube channel first. This is just where we are going to talk about random life topics depending on what's happening in my life, what's happening in the world. I just want to talk about a lot of things that we're all kind of going through and I hope that this is kind of a place where you might not feel as alone and I don't know that's kind of what I want to do with Nat Chats just talk about different random topics because I feel like this has been a really hard year so I really want to talk about a few things in this Nat Chats episode but the first one is change so change one I'm dealing with it physically in the sense that I am moving from New York City back home to Charlotte, North Carolina where I'm from and I'm gonna move in with my parents again and I'm leaving the city that I love so much just because of this pandemic and I actually asked you guys on Instagram how many people are living with their parents um, or how many people decided to like stay where they are and 62% of you guys actually said that you guys had moved back home with your parents. This made me want to touch on this and then also I just really wanted to talk about change in the like how you can change as a person because I feel like 2020 kind of opened a lot of people's eyes. I feel like a lot of people are changing this year or it just opened our eyes to so many more different issues and I kind of think that it has to do with change as well. But I also want to call out something in my own life. I feel like I'm super honest and transparent with you guys and I need to like call this out because I've mentioned it in videos before but I think I just want this to be like the most open and honest conversation like these like nat chats videos i would always say in my videos like every single what i learned by this year video I, i'm always like i've changed so much like oh my god and high school me and college me or high school me college me and now this me is like so different and that it is okay to change it's okay to realize that you want to be a better person or it's okay to realize that like you're not being the best person you could be it's okay to realize that the way that you've been living might not be the way you want to live as you go on. I, I look back at that past self and I'm like, that's so messed up. As long as we learn from it, I'm very pro change, you know? Like you should be able to change and you should be able to make mistakes and in the future realize that that was a mistake and apologize for it. I Number two is that you may change your thoughts and opinions as you grow up and that doesn't make you a hypocrite. So a lot of times in high school, I had, was very like, I believed one thing and that was it. And just like with opinions wise, I thought I was like, this is true, this is right. The way I think is like 100% right. And as I grow older and as I experience more of life and as I meet other types of people, I realized that some of the things I thought, I don't really agree with anymore. That doesn't mean I'm a hypocrite. That doesn't mean because you thought one thing and then you change your opinion in the future that you're a hypocrite. It is healthy to grow and to continue to mature. And I honestly hope that none of you guys have the exact same beliefs as when you were in high school to when you're older. I feel like if you know me personally, you definitely can say that, but I kind of want to talk more in detail on like what that means, how I've grown as a person. I think for me, the biggest change that I always talk about, which I'm always scared to just flat out say in this video or on my channel, but is I used to be so ignorant you guys in high school i grew up in what i like to call a little bubble and i'm not saying that it is necessarily bad because i didn't have really an option to live there or not but i'm just calling it like it is i lived in a bubble I went to a public high school but it was very 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 white probably like 90 percent white if i were to guess um and then very wealthy and very conservative you know that's just like how i grew up like in that area in that environment and same with a lot of my high school friends and i'm not saying that if you are those things that that automatically makes you ignorant i'm just saying that when you grow up in a place that doesn't have diversity that doesn't have diversity in thought it can become a bubble and you can make yourself very ignorant because you're only choosing to see one side of things you're only listening to certain opinions and you don't have anyone challenging your opinions or you have a lot of people validating you even when you might be wrong so that is how i grew up and i grew up thinking that making like racist jokes were funny and in my head it wasn't like oh i'm making a racist joke it was like well this isn't like this doesn't hurt me this doesn't hurt my friends like who cares like people are so sensitive you know that's always what i would think to me now looking back i literally want to like slap myself across the face i'm like why would i ever think those types of things were okay like making those racial jokes and being so insensitive and saying 
words that I should not be saying and just thinking that all of that was okay because oh it it doesn't affect me like it's not impacting my life no one not my friend group isn't insulted by it very very narrow-minded way I that I lived and that I thought and no one was there to hold me accountable or to tell me like hey that's messed up and this is probably I'm dating this back to like nine years ago because I know it was my freshman and sophomore year of high school I was just so freaking ignorant and just like my words were really really harmful and things that I would never ever ever say today not because oh I don't want to get canceled but because I know that it's wrong and so I think I was talking to a lot of you guys actually in my DMs who were telling me that they grew up also in a very similar area and with very similar beliefs I'll, I'll say and that they also have kind of like now realized after and maybe not now but like the past few years how like harmful that was and how hurtful that is and I think for me I know my pivotal moment was in college the second I kind of left I really kind of discovered myself as cheesy as that sounds what I think I did for the most part is I kind of realized like wait a lot of things in college were challenging what I had once thought I was like wait that's actually not okay but I think the reason why it was so pivotal to me is because I was exposed to so many different types of people to so many different ways of thinking I was able to make decisions on my own and to me that just gave me so much freedom and then also I mean the rise of social media I think has helped a lot of people like a 14 and 15 year old today is so much more informed of what is going on in the world than a 14 and 15 year old when we were well I say we when I was growing up I'm 24 right now when I was growing up it's just so much more informed I remember always saying and I have things on social media that use this type of language which is disgusting and I'm so ashamed of it is things like saying like oh my gosh you're so gay like oh that's so gay like I would literally say that and not think that there was anything wrong with it because like everyone else around me was saying it no one was saying it was wrong and even if people were saying it was wrong it was like whatever you know it was like an eye roll and I'm just like the type of person that would do like I just remember thinking one time someone I remember telling me they were like why would you use that word when there are so many other words in the dictionary that you could use? And that I remember being such like a normal thing to say. And then once I realized like that was really wrong, I was like, hmm, like, yeah, maybe I should stop saying that because that is so hurtful. It makes me so mad to think about, but I'm just trying to honestly pour my heart out because I hope that one, this serves as an apology. I definitely want to say I am so sorry for anyone that I've ever hurt with my language because words are powerful and I am so sorry for using these words. I'm so sorry for thinking these things. I'm so sorry for being a part of such a huge, huge, huge problem. But I do want to kind of put myself out there and be like, well, this is also like you can change for the better. And I never want to be like, oh my God, that wasn't me that's not me it's like that's might not be me today in the sense that I wouldn't say those things anymore and I totally disagree with those viewpoints that I once had but that is that I mean that was me you know what I'm saying like it's like it wasn't like a different person it wasn't like a family member like that was literally coming out of my mouth so uh, this is such a can't like conversation that I did not like write anything down for it I'm literally just talking to you how I have talked to so many of my friends about this because we most of us are all kind of aligned on this we're all like how did we say those things why did we think that was okay and I think it's literally just because of how it wasn't a bad thing growing up for where we were and that is really hard to say because now if someone said that word if I hear my siblings talking like that or if I hear family members of mine or if I hear like friends close friends of mine I'll be like hey can you like why why do you got to use that you know and so or why do you have to say that or even if they say something that's a little bit more offensive it's like hey well why do you have to say that say it like that like that's actually really really rude like it's not funny and I used to laugh at those things and now I'm like that's actually really not funny and I know I've spoken to so many of you who have grown up in similar situations than me you guys might have even grown up in the same place as I have you I mean I know so many of my friends can relate to this and I've seen so many things on like TikTok of like growing up one way and then now realizing and being like oh my gosh like so like thinking a lot differently and just becoming more educated and way less ignorant because I think that's just like the main thing to put it as is it's so ignorant I went to college I was exposed to so many different things and everything I kind of now 
became into my own person and I just started becoming more educated. I honestly was more curious because I remember hearing some of these issues like Black Lives Matter. I remember when it first came out. Everything that I kind of said in my Black Lives Matter video that I posted of all those like debunking what people think is like at one point I had thought those things, you know, because I that's just like everyone thought those things around me and I thought those things. Started hearing more and more about these issues. I started seeing friends that were impacted. I started really listening to people, I think, and to listening to people that were different than me. And I remember thinking like, okay, I need to start reading more on this because this is not, like if everyone's saying, if people, like for example, with the Black Lives Matter movement, this is just one example. If black people are telling me that this is happening, what, who, who am I who is not black to say that that's not happening. You know, it, it, that's kind of when it like clicked in my mind and I started listening to more people, especially in some of my college classes and some of my friends at school. And I started realizing like, this is actually a real huge issue. And I never knew so many of these things that I was now learning. The biggest thing was, yes, I was reading more books. Yes, I was becoming more informed, but I honestly started having more empathy. And I think that's where the change lies. You're not gonna change as a person if you do not have empathy for other people. And I think that that's something that I really needed to kind of admit to myself is that I didn't have empathy back then. Like I was not, I was not like thinking right back then. Like that, it wasn't just like, um, change like whatever like yeah I started reading more books yeah I started doing this but like the biggest thing was that now I do have empathy for different people other than what directly impacts me so you know like if something doesn't happen to you it doesn't mean that it's not happening and that's something I didn't really like understand back then you know it's a very entitled mentality but that's just what I thought so I really wanted to just hold myself accountable and I want to thank you guys for holding me accountable and I also want to talk about accountability. So there's kind of three parts to this Nat chats so, because I've just been seeing it so much. So the first one is just change. I think we need to start normalizing people changing with new information, people changing and growing with new perspective. I hate the fact that like just because you thought one way means that that's who you are forever. Like I think we should start normalizing growth, start normalizing change and that a lot of times when you are younger, you might think one way and it's okay to change your opinions. And I think that that's always something that I've promoted on my channel is like it is okay to change it can be actually a really really great thing to change so that made sense but yeah I wanted to talk about that because I know I've talked to a lot of you guys and we're all like honestly I think we're all just afraid to say it I think we're all afraid we just want to get defensive right away and we're all so afraid to be like yeah I really like I was such I was a part of such a big problem and I just was okay with it and so i think that's the scary part because you're scared that people are just gonna attack you but i hope that this kind of starts a conversation where you are allowed to grow you are allowed to change and of course that's gonna look different for everyone but i just wanted to share my story and also come out and actually apologize for things because i think it also starts with admitting you were wrong and actually like saying sorry like you can say that like oh yeah i was uh, i was such a different person back then like you still have to apologize for that because it wasn't a different person it was you so that's just what i want to say because i mean to any like i've offended so many people you know like in my lifetime because if it wasn't hurtful to me then it wasn't hurtful is what i thought in my head and that's just so like effed up and also feel like my dms are open if you guys want to talk about this i really want to make these like just like heart to heart with you guys and i probably like I'm gonna mess up saying some things on these Nat chats because I'll be just word vomiting, but I just like, I need to get some of these things off my chest. Accountability is another thing that I really wanted to touch on and it's because I have been held accountable and I want to say there's a difference between accountability and cancel culture. So I want to talk about those two. So accountability to me, and I'd love to know what you guys think about it, is when someone tells you that you messed up and it could be privately, it doesn't really matter, but someone tells you that you messed up and tells you why in a not like, oh my god, you're such a horrible person, like not that type of way, just like, hey, this is not okay and that is what accountability is when it is brought to your attention that what you are doing is not right. So for me, I've had like DMs where it's holding me accountable for things that I've said in my past, for things that I've done, for things that I've posted. My first initial reaction is like, get defensive. Be like, oh my God, that's not me. Like, eh, whatever. And then like the second, after a second, I'm like, wait, 
they are right. Like, why am I getting defensive? Like, you don't have to get defensive every single time you get held accountable. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's one of those things where it's like, you can still be held accountable and not, that person doesn't necessarily hate you if they're holding you accountable. It's just like, I'm letting you know that this hurt me, that this is hurtful, that this is not right, that this just, you shouldn't be doing this, saying this, whatever that is. And I think it's a time to reflect and to be like, hmm, you're right. Instead of, and ways to make it better, instead of just getting defensive and being like, oh my God, you're just trying to cancel me. You know, like there's totally a difference between canceling someone and like holding someone accountable. And I just think that that is something that on social media, we've been hearing that word a lot more is holding people accountable. And then that kind of crosses into cancel culture as well, which I wanted to talk about. And I know that so many people are not gonna agree with me in this video, but I still wanted to make it because this is just my ramblings that I just need to get out of my head. Um, but for cancel culture, for me, I just think of cancel culture as the extreme of accountable where you're not really interested in holding them accountable. You're not really interested in their growth. You just want them to be done. You either, one, you hate them. You're like, I hate this person. Like, I want them to be done. Thank God they slipped up so that I can finally cancel them. Like, I think that that's what we're seeing most mostly today and then there's another cancel culture where it's like they did something so despicable that they need to be done and that to me is way more justified than someone that's just like finally they messed up like you don't care for their growth whereas accountability you care for their growth and you want to give them that benefit of, of the doubt when you're holding them accountable but cancel culture is just like you are done and i think we're seeing that a lot more now i'd love to know your thoughts on cancel culture like i structured to this video it was literally just me rambling but i wanted to take the time to make this video to kind of just talk to you guys what do you guys think are people able to change should you hold people accountable what's the difference between accountability and cancel culture I, and then also of course i did want to end this by just apologizing because like i said yes you can change without apologizing but like i think apologizing is a huge thing so i am sincerely sorry for everything that i have said when i was younger there was nothing besides me being one ignorant and two happy in my bubble i feel like i was in my bubble i was happy and that was it you know and i'm just i want you to know that if you also feel that guilt and that like embarrassment for things that you've done or said or thought when you were younger i think that is okay now to change your mind and to grow with new information i've been listening to uncomfortable conversations with the black man on youtube which i highly recommend and it's just like such a breath of fresh air those the, those conversations because i think that those are missing today just having these candid conversations these honest conversations these hard conversations i've had so many conversations not only with with friends family with people close to me and they're difficult and you know what you're not going to change everyone's mind and that's not really your job to change people's mind but it is your job to just talk to them to have those conversations because without conversations there is no growth if i didn't have if i didn't expose myself and i didn't have these conversations with people and i didn't challenge my own beliefs then i would not have i would not have grown and i also want to say that as someone who grew up very christian like going to church every single week it's something that even with religion i have started finding for myself like i am still christian i still identify with christianity but for me it's so much more like a relationship with jesus rather than these check boxes of going to church and whatever it is like oh can't do that can't do this can't do that can't do this like for me it's so much more of a relationship with christ and it's about loving others and i think that is what was missing like i think you cannot be a i mean i i don't know if this is wrong to say but i don't think you can be a christian without having empathy for others and that's like the biggest thing like hope this video inspired a conversation uh, my dms are always open i really do like chatting with you guys in my dms i want to thank you for holding me accountable and i also want to thank you for just like honestly listening to me talk and i want to say that i am so sincerely sorry from the bottom of my heart i have grown so much and i'm very proud of who i am now and i'm gonna hopefully grow even more i don't know if this video made any sense at all Honestly, I wanted to apologize. That was such a big thing. And then I also wanted to talk about accountability and cancel culture. And I just wanted to hear your guys' thoughts. And I wanted to make sure that you guys didn't feel alone because I think that there is such a shame in like being wrong. And hopefully if you see like other people being like, hey, I was wrong, this is messed up, then hopefully it can inspire you to also do the same with your 
like with yourself and your mistakes. I'm like feeling all these emotions right now because I was just like so confronted with things that I didn't even remember pretty much a decade ago and now I'm like okay I need to make a video this is not okay okay so my camera actually died while I was filming that I'm just gonna leave the video here I'm gonna sign off I hope that what I said resonated with you I really did try to pour what was on my heart I didn't I intentionally didn't script anything even though in hindsight editing this I was like maybe I should have because my thoughts were all over the place thank you guys for watching and yeah like I said my dms are open all right bye guys